to is Rob Walker. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What a day we've already had here at the Betfred.com World Snooker Championship. We started last Saturday with 32. Now there are just 16. And the drama is set to continue this afternoon. So without any further ado, let's get the boys on the base. <laughs> Please welcome the man who played his part in an absorbing session of snooker yesterday. This is his sixth appearance in the second round, here after a big win over Graham Dot on Wednesday. Quarter finalist in 04, he made the semis in 08. From Cambridge, the gentleman, Joe Perry. A world-class player hoping to finally fulfil his crucible potential. Two centuries yesterday indicate the great form he brings here from the China Open final. Winner of four ranking event titles in all. Semi-finalist in 07. When he's good, he's on fire. Here comes Stephen Maguire. <laughs> And on table two, please welcome a man flying the flag for China here in the second round. He produced the match of his life against Mark Allen with a 10-6 win in the first round. He won four matches in qualifying to book his place at the Crucible this year. Former Asian under-21 champion, Chao Yu Peng. <laughs> And finally, a player who produced the biggest shock of the first round, coming back from 9-6 down to beat Ding Zhengwei. Trying to recapture the kind of form that took him to world number six in the past, bidding for a third Crucible quarter-final, the pride of Ponzi cover, Ryan Dynamite Whoa. Day! <laughs> And I should remind you that it's girl power out there again, Zhu Jing and Michaela Tab, the ladies in charge of these matches. There they are, just as they were the other evening. Uh, the Maguire Perry match we'll come back to in a while, although it is available on the red button or online live now. And it will be interesting, I think, to see the opening exchanges in this battle of the qualifiers on table two. Thank and we will frame. do so with Terry Great Griffiths day. and Willie Thorne. Afternoon, gents. So then, Ryan Day gets this uh, second round match underway after a 10-9 victory in the first round over Jing Zheng Wei. Looked at one time if he was on the way home, but recovered well. And his opponent here, who's uh, Zhao Yu Peng, had a wonderful match against Mark Allen. And of course, he's a practice partner of, uh, of Ding in the academy here in Sheffield. So I'm sure Ding would uh, have given him a, a few tips for today. <laughs> Not that he really needed many. Willie, the way you played against Mark Allen? Played very well. It's uh, my first uh, chance of seeing this young player from, from China, and I'm quite looking forward to it. I'm sure he'd have preferred to play Ryan than Ding, because the Ding in practice, I, I would imagine, is uh, absolutely brilliant. So I'm sure playing a player you not don't know too much about would be... A little more difficult than in saying that, what a great opener that was. Well, against Mark Allen, there was a lot of shots, a lot of good shots throughout the match, you know, and, uh, you know, I thought he held up tremendously well on his first visit to the Crucible. Against a player who was feared by many, Mark Allen. This was... Yu Peng played very positively throughout the match. Eight. 
Nein. They're blessed with wonderful temperaments, the Chinese players, for some reason. I don't know why it is. They seem to just look the same all the time. And that's the key here at the Crucible. If you've got any Crucible nerves here, that it's really going to find you out. 16. You were unsure that was going to go in then. You just hesitated slightly. Just watch him now. He's having a look around. He's got up to have a look. The red's going in. He's had a great run in the uh, Betfred World Championships this year. He's already beaten Kurt Mafflint 10-2. Dave Harold 10-9. Nigel Bond 10-7 and be Tom Ford 10-9 in the final qualifying. I watched a bit of that. It is a very good match. And Tom Ford had a, a frame awarded against 24. him for being late after the interval, which didn't have a good effect on him. And, of course, he beat Mark Allen here 10-6 in the Crucible on his first appearance. So he's coming in here with some momentum. It's amazing it, how these players have to play five qualifying games, which is the strength and depth now in professional snooker. There's not a lot of him, is there? Uh, very slim gentleman. 32. Beautiful stance there. I don't know what kind of cue power he has because I haven't seen too much of him, but there's nothing wrong with his cue action. Well, one of his friends is his long pot in. He, he's, uh, one of these can pot a long red and screw back into Bork. I wouldn't say he's that that powerful. He's not a Murphy or somebody, but uh, he can do enough. Another beautiful shot playing for two reds, and he's on the both of them. 40. So he settled in once again very early on. Well, if Ryan Day wasn't aware of how he'd come into this match, how are you playing? He's certainly aware now. He's settled very, very quickly. So went a little bit quick at that one. Show you pain. Cue ball nowhere 41. near where he want, wanted to go, but a nice 41 to start. 